Is loser's Q really real? When you go on a loss streak like this and feel like you can't control what your team is doing, is it really your fault or is it your team's and the matchmaking's fault? Today I'm going to explore that. So there have been many different Reddit posts and discussions from everyone from just the average little League of Legends player to big content creators about is loser's Q a real thing? And generally most of them like in the like general league community actually do think it is real and uh here's the reddit post i'm just going to talk a little bit about it and uh so it says is it real i feel like uh everyone's had 10 games in a row where it's literally impossible to win and i've experienced this myself probably a little bit um and this person here says my biggest loss streak is 13 games and my biggest win is 22. now uh i'm going to go over the math real quickly of winning 22 games in a row, assuming that there's a 50% chance to win and 50% chance to lose. Obviously, it's not 50-50. This guy may have been dueling. He may have been smurfing. But So if you do 0. 0.5 to the 22, which is how you would uh, find this, then you get this number, and which is equivalent to this. And then you multiply it by 100 to find what percent it is. And that is the percent. It's 0. 0.00028%. That percent. The probability is this, but that's the percent. And that is just insanely low, obviously. I don't I don't think I need to uh, explain that to anyone here. So, obviously there is something going on, but is it really, like, matchmaking? I don't know. I've watched some videos on this. This is um, one video that pretty much says it's your own fault that you're, in loser that you're losing a lot, and I, I think that there is certainly some truth to that. Like, even if you get a really bad teammate, eventually you should be able to carry it, theoretically. So if you go on a loss streak, at some point, it's almost partially your fault, arguably. I mean, I can't say it necessarily is if your whole team goes 0-15 by 20 minutes or whatever. But really difficult to say. And most people in the league community seem to think it is real. And uh, this video shows some, like, <laughs> Reddit comments saying that uh, pretty much... They all, everyone Designed so right, it keeps you playing their stupid game with the illusion of ranking up. And uh, what most people think the uh, idea behind loser's Q is, is so that you have to, you get addicted to the game pretty much. It's like gambling, big loss streak, big win streak. It really keeps you wanting to play the game. I think there is some truth to that. So um, I'm going to go over just real quickly the uh, math of winning seven games in a row. Which is, or losing something, assuming that it's a 0.5% chance. And I obviously have experienced bigger loss streaks and win streaks than this. But um, the chance of it is under 1%. It's 0.7825%. Or 125%. So that is extremely low. It would take you over 100 times to get that, that low a streak or that high a win streak. And so I think that is evidence uh, that there is probably something going on. And uh, I have, I just look at some accounts of some like top le uh, league players and I have streamers, I guess. And so using the Liga Graphs patterns, you can look at there's patterns um, and you can see they're one right on things like blue side and red side. And I'm starting to look at this and I'm realizing now that since the new season just started, this data is not very complete yet. Um, obviously, so it, there's going to be outliers, because considering, like, look at its difference between blue, blue side and red side win rate, it shouldn't be that big, right? But, um, if you actually look at its win rate after a cold streak, which is three plus matches lost in a row, it's actually higher than it would be after a hot streak. And this seems to be, I guess, evidence that Lucer's Q does not exist. And the same thing with this other account I looked at, and it pretty much says that, yeah, it's the same thing. His, his win rate after a cold streak is higher, which would suggest that he's actually getting put with better teams after a losing streak. But I don't think that the sample size is enough, really, for any definitive proof. And so then I'm going to talk about the next thing, which is, like, how is it even possible to lose, like, 20 games in a row, something like that? Like, Tyler Wan has went on his infamous 13-game loss streak on his road to Challenger. And I'm going to go over an example of how Riot's behavioral system works. So this is an example of, I don't know what season this is, it's obviously quite a few seasons ago, but um, this is a Nunu player who is playing Unsealed Spellbook and Conqueror Nunu mostly, along with some other junglers, and just completely inting it. He was Masters, playing Master E, 
Obviously, he's a pretty good Master Chief player, and then, <laughs> look at this. This man just started trolling, uh, particularly right there. That looks to be about, like, I don't know, under a week-ish, where this person drops over a whole division, pretty much, by inting. And you can see um, the new new win rate is 2%, a 2% new new win rate. And um, <laughs> someone posted this on uh, Twitter, I believe, and it said, and then Riot Games report, pretty much a uh, support responded, and this is not evidence of inting, <laughs> which of course it is evidence of inting in my opinion. I mean, this person's not going 022 KDA every single game, but they're pretty much AFK, just either farming or inting a few kills. And I think it is pretty clear that this person is either not trying or it's not the person that played the Mastery that's playing on this account at least. <laughs> um, and yeah, and it, uh, Riot Games Portal said inting absolutely needs to be reported, but we can't put these PL errors on blast and there's no way to know if it's actually inting. And yeah, I mean, that's pretty much the case. Like I've, I have seen players be banned for inting before. And, um, generally it's when you go like, Oh, 30, it's not when you go like, Oh, nine or something and are just trolling. Like it's really difficult for the game to detect someone that just stops trying unless they go like an absolutely absurd KDA and type I'm inting in chat or something. And that, that is really a mistake with Riot games in my opinion. Like, there needs to be some better way to detect people that are inting, but it's pretty damn difficult. And, yeah, I mean, I think that that might be part of what causes these massive loss streaks. I think that loser's queue has to be maybe partially true, but it's probably also just your own psychology. You think you cannot control your game, and that uh, it's your own team's fault, and then you get really tilted, and you keep on queuing up. I've experienced this myself, and you just go on a massive, massive loss streak. It's... Probably a good idea to like stop queuing up after like three losses if you're not trying to lose all your LP gains. But yeah, I mean, I think that the only way for you to really lose 13 games in a row is if some of your teammates just give up or start like inting in the middle of your games like this Nunu here. Because if you're in any elo above like silver, it's going to be really difficult uh, for your enemies to make quite enough mistakes for you to win the game when one of your teammates is inting. Unless, like, you and all of your teammates are winning besides just Ender. Uh, I mean, this is evidence of that clearly only winning one game here. And this guy's not even inting that hard. He's just AFK. Slightly inting, I guess you could say. So, yeah, I think that loser's queue may be real, but the main issue is the behavioral system and enters with uh, queuing, as it stands. And, I mean, Riot Games has been doing some changes recently to queuing, like, removing Smurf queue and some other weird stuff, but... Players like Nice and stuff have obviously been uh, coping a little bit. Um, I don't think that loser's queue necessarily can be an excuse completely as to why you're like stuck in like iron when you should be challenger, but it, it can be a little bit of annoying and it can be why you lost some LP in the short term, definitely, I think. Um, and I think that the main problem for this is just interest and people not trying in general. Like, people need to be a. Uh, punished if they're not trying and there needs to be some better way to detect it but it's really difficult to detect it and that is why Riot Games like inherently and uh, League of Legends inherently it's just like a really difficult game and frustrating game to climb on and it's, uh, it's what makes it so addicting in some ways like pretty much everyone says uh, the reason they do this is to make you addicted to it it's like gambling <laughs> but yeah uh it pretty much, Luther's queue definitely exists, is the general consensus by the league community. Who am I to argue with it? There seems to be a lot of anecdotal evidence of it existing, and I don't know if that's necessarily enough, but I think I think at this point, it probably does exist. Um, and, yeah, people are saying that Riot Games doesn't care about its player base. I, I think that's true. Riot Games really just only cares about making money, and <laughs> uh, Riot Games is very underfunded. It, it is a, such a dividing issue in the community, and I really want to know what you all think about it.